All right, gonna make a uh, short, quick video on. Uh, I really don't know what feature I want to put in this video, but I think I'm gonna do the border color. Uh, some people's asked about that and explain some things with it, and then I will also show off the new menu that I never really talked about. Uh, I just went ahead and did it because someone mentioned that um, there should be a menu, so we will go over that as well. Um, if you don't know already, this is KK Thinks UI. Um, yeah, try it. It's in the uh, description for download. Uh, so, uh, getting right to it. So, to enable the border color of the UI, if you want to change at least 99% of the borders on the UI that's supported with the UI in some Blizzard frame templates, you will just hit escape go to my config and then you will hit toggle border color now once you do that you also need to change this value too um, if your color picker doesn't look like this you need to go to miscellaneous and improved color picker that will enable that for you so going back to general so if you want like class, you just click this and it will give you a class theme. Uh, whatever your class is, may it be a rogue, it be yellow, whatever. Hit OK and then hit apply. Alright, so now you kind of have more or less a theme that suits your needs. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, there are some issues like with the auras, you're not going to see like debuff colors anymore because it just doesn't override it just yet, but I do plan to fix that and make exceptions for that. So if you look at some other stuff, it's themed up as well. Like I said, some of them's not. Like, the whole background here is not going to be themed for obvious reasons. Um, but you're going to have most of your frames. Class color, and it's going to be a change for you. So, um, yeah, it's just an option that a lot of people wanted. So I figured I'd add it. So basically, that is how you add that. And if you want to remove it, you can just uncheck this and right-click this color button just for the sake of it being back to default if you would ever change it and go back you can go like that so that's that for the menu option if you don't like typing commands like profiles or whatever um, there's a cogwheel uh, on your chat and you can click that you have status which people can use that for bug reports just send me a screenshot and then I'm about done with these buttons so you can export a thing to paste into Discord or a template set up for GitHub. You can toggle PvP. You can toggle it back off and it does make a sound when you toggle it on. I implemented that as well. And if you hover over your unit frame it will tell you the time remaining. Uh, install. Move UI config profiles I really have a issue with uh, alts by the way sorry uh, where were we at here oh, UI help reload UI toggle bags click me no life and damage meters if you have them enabled which I plan to make this so they're grayed out if uh, the module isn't there so other than that that's it uh, description about the UI and other information about discord so you can join the KGET Thinks UI community and get more involved other than that if you like my videos hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one